Researchers are now looking into the effectiveness of mixing and matching COVID-19 vaccines. It's all part of a brand new trial underway for vaccine boosters. And tonight, ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell is shifting through the research and she spoke to one of the trial's leaders and the local doctors about what this now means for you. As the country pushes to get more people vaccinated, researchers are now looking at mixing and matching different COVID vaccines as a booster for fully vaccinated people. We call it mix and match because we're looking at people who got any of the three uh, EUA authorized vaccines. So the, the Pfizer, the Moderna, or the Janssen vaccine. And at least in the current part of the study, we're boosting each of those three groups with the uh, Moderna vaccine. The National Institutes of Health started a clinical trial where people who've been fully vaccinated will get booster doses of different COVID-19 vaccines to determine the safety and immune response of mixed boosted regimens. Folks will get a single booster dose of Moderna 12 to 20 weeks after their initial vaccine regimen. I spoke to Dr. Robert Atmar, one of the principal investigators. If a person got their EUA vaccine, they got Pfizer vaccine, and there ends up being a recommendation for a booster vaccine. Is it okay that they get boosted with some other vaccine? Dr. Atmar says the study is an adaptive design, meaning they can add more groups as they go forward. People who haven't gotten a COVID vaccine can also participate in a separate cohort. When you go to get your flu shot, for example, you didn't necessarily even have a choice. And it doesn't really matter because Vaccines are all kind of similar. I asked USF Health's Dr. Michael Tang why this concept will be important down the road. If we do in fact need a booster shot for this, you don't want to have to go track down the same vaccine that you got because that may not be available in, in your area. Initial trial results are expected late this summer. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.